What's up everybody, your boy First Lord from Bastard Gaming and we're doing another Black Desert video. It's been a while since I did a Black Desert video. The last time I showed it was when I first got it for Xbox and now I'm level 54. So with that being said, uh, I thought I'd do a little quick video on how to be a warrior pretty much. I learned a lot playing this version than PC version simply because I have a lot more people to play with. I can do a lot more scrolls and I'm not just soloing all the time. One of the first so, things that I want to uh, say is this game is very gear based. Uh, levels are important, yes, but not as important as gear. So, as a warrior, since mostly I'm a tank, I focus more on my defense than my attack points. Don't get me wrong, attack points are important, especially for any class. So, you want to work on that. But as a warrior, I feel like you should work on your defense points. Now, you can see my defense points are 160 and my attack points are 99, which is doable. Uh, and unfortunately, I had a sword before that was like better, but I accidentally somehow got deleted. So I'm rocking with this sword right now, which is plus 11. Um, it, it's going to do what it needs to do until I freaking get a little bottle, which I really do need. Another thing that's also important to get is accessories. The crimson eye earrings, necklace, and ring are actually a good uh, place to start when you get to a certain level. You get past level 50. I highly recommend these, especially for any type of warrior, to get these. And even two rings. The Market Shadow Ring is good to get get until you get the Crimson Eye Ring. As you can see, the Crimson Eye Ring is plus two defense and seven attack, while the Market Shadow is only plus, plus five attack. I mean, it's good until you get this. I actually need to get one more of these, so I'm going to actually do some farming for that a little bit later. Um, I only really want to lock one earring because, like I said, I want to focus on defense. So attack is good. So I'm going to keep one, but I'm also going to use this Rydell earring because it's going to be five defense. And I'm also going to focus on actually getting the Crimson Eye Belt. Until then, I'm just going to use this belt right here. And the Magical Armor because it's the only armor I can really find right now that does suitable what I need it. And then the Grundy Helmet. Uh, I really rather have a full set, but you know what? I just make do what it is. Sometimes full set is doesn't really give you exactly the type of results you need it. So sometimes it's okay to mix and match. Just that's my opinion. If you don't really care about the whole magical set, like right now I have two lost gloves, so I'm getting plus one movement speed. And if I get the full set, I'll have plus one attack speed, casting speed. Which it doesn't matter. I'm not really worried about my attack speed or my casting speed because I'm not a wizard, so I don't have to worry about that. I am worried about my defense and then my attack. So then I got the dim magical shield, which as a warrior, this shield right here is going to be your best friend. I'm actually working on this shield, the kite shield, but I lose some attack, but I'm trying to get it up so I gain more defense because the dim magical shield you cannot enhance, which is unfortunate. But I can uh, enhance the kite shield, so we'll see. So with that being said, the armor all looks generic doesn't matter what armor you have so that's why they have costumes since I brought the hundred dollar edition I have a special costume which why is not showing there we go <laughs> I have uh, this uh, uh, Shaddad armor LE which the armor the costume actually gives you some benefits uh, you get plus 10 combat experience skill experience uh, Minus death, death penalty, plus 10 immunity, and jump height, which is all, trust me, all comes in handy. And pretty much, yeah, you want to definitely use buff. You'll definitely eat. I didn't realize how point eating was until I started getting more heavily into buff in the game. Uh, it does help raise your stats up. And so life experience, and this one's for combat experience. All right, so that being said, let's get into some. Now we're going to do some PvE with the warrior. Pretty much what he's capable of. We're at... Helm's post. I figured I'll do a little quick. Uh, I'm not gonna pop no, no buffs and all like that because I don't want to waste them because I'm not gonna be doing it too long. But I thought do a little quick tutorial. Also, pets are very important. Reason why? Because they can pick up the items that you drop, that these enemies drop. Instead of you wasting time trying to pick them up, you could just have your pets do it for you. Alright. I'm not gonna mess with these guys per se. There's another set of stage to be further down. Oh yeah, I went way far, but alright. 
So this is one of the places you can do where you go, uh, you want the ring, the crimson, the crimson uh, eye ring. Actually, oh wow, my heart. It's no time. So oh, as you can see, my pets picked up all my items, so I have to worry about it. Also, important health potions. Make sure you have them. As a warrior, I recommend knowing no, nothing, nothing looks shorter than 200, but to each his own. But make sure you have them. They're very important in this game. So pretty much, it's just straightforward. You just fight these dudes. But one thing that we warriors have an advantage of is our shield. So for a temporary time, I take no damage as long as my shield is out. So I can pop health potions or do whatever I need to do or re-strategize. As a warrior, your shield is very important to you. And you want to make sure you utilize it to the best of your ability. Another thing that's also good is War Cry. Pretty much just a taunt, a way to keep hate or to gain hate. It's good to use that when you're on party and you're trying to keep the hate on you. Yeah, I don't really expect to actually for it to pop to get that ring. But yeah, War Cry. You just do shield, and then we also have the evasion move, which is pretty cool. Not as quick as the other classes, but it does come in handy when you need to reset your little position. All right, I just recently did an upgrade to my sword, which helped out a lot. But before these guys just give me not problems, but it took me a little while to actually beat these guys. But now it's not so bad. And like you see, I just did the kick there with kind of a counter and a knockdown. See, right now, look at my health. I'm gonna pop my shield. And just bring it back up. And as a period of time, taking no damage. You can't do it indefinitely. There is a limit on how much your shield can take. Because your shield does take durability damage. So it would wear out faster than than before. So you also gotta pay attention to your gear. And these dudes. Alright. So yeah, that's pretty much get back to the save area. So that's pretty much just the basis of we as a warrior how you do PvE. I mean you just want to make sure that uh, that you utilize your shield and you utilize you know your surroundings. Especially your wall crap. Look, do one more time. And you watch my health, I'm not really thinking I'm not getting no damage. I'm just popping health potions. And then I want to get in a better position, I'll just roll off the way. I knock them all down and then do my ground attacks. And then you will see that yellow bar that's your weapons points. Don't worry about it, because as your warrior, you can rebuild it by this fight. And he's out of here. It's that simple. Oops. It's really that simple. So PvE with the warrior is super easy. So now let's get into some important life skill. Well, some important stats I believe you should some have. Stats as a warrior. I believe that's really important as a warrior. Real quick, your breath definitely that's your stamina for how long you can run. Your strength is really important, but I haven't really put any, any type of effort in doing strength. 
uh, yeah, health definitely point that increases your health stat. As you can see, my max health right now is 2249, which is pretty much where you want it to be around the warrior. You want to go as high as possible. Uh, my luck is level three, which is also good. It helps you get better drop rates. So those are the things that you really want to pay attention. You want to make sure you eat to raise your health. And you want to make sure you run before you have a horse to try to increase your uh, your breath, to increase your stamina. And yeah, everything else is just generic. I mean, you want to do whatever life you want to do. I chose fishing because it's the best way to me. I like doing it. It's quicker to make money. And yeah, so that's a little quick tutorial video about being a warrior. Uh, I'm going to do some more team play videos soon with my team and my guild. Uh, and we'll do some some crazy stuff uh gills not that big but all these dudes are very serious and um i look forward to it so anyway this is your boy from bastard gaming i'll catch you later peace